So you're thinking about buying the Skill 40 volt battery powered chainsaw, and you're wondering if this piece of equipment is worth the investment. Today, we're gonna to be doing a comprehensive review so that way you can make the best decision for your chainsaw needs. The Skill battery powered chainsaw is a 14 inch chainsaw. So that means the length of this bar is 14 inches, which is more than sufficient for the average homeowner's chainsaw needs. The chain is a 52 link chain and the chain pitch is 3 8 And you can double check that information by looking right on the front of the bar right here. It lists 52 lengths and 3 8 of an inch LP, which is a low profile chain. That's what this LP means. A low profile chain is going to give you really smooth operation and it's definitely going to resist kickbacks. So it's a perfect saw for a beginner or a novice. The Skill 40 volt chainsaw comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery standard and it also comes with a 150 volt charger. Now there is a larger battery available, which is this one, and this is the five amp hour battery. This battery is featured in Skills Power Core 40 lineup for the battery operated push mower, but you can purchase this battery on its own to give you a little bit extra life to go into your chainsaw as a second battery if you want to. Putting the battery in the chainsaw is super easy. It just slides into position and locks in place. Removing the battery is super easy. You just push down on this lever, the battery pops out, take a new battery, slide it into position, and lock it into place. When you plug your battery in, you're gonna have an indicator light that flashes to tell you that it's charging, and it's going to flash on the segment of the bar that it's working on. So right now, it's working on the last 75% of its charge. And you're also gonna hear an audible fan noise, and that is kind of like a supercharged battery speed because these batteries actually charge really fast. If you run out of juice during a project, you're gonna get 30% charge that battery in just 15 minutes. So it gives you a good opportunity to go grab a cold glass of water and cool off while you wait for it to charge. Now, when you're on the fly, you can always tell how much juice that you have left by pushing this button at the front. You can see right now we've got four bars, so we've got full power and we're ready to fire it up. One of the best things about owning a battery powered chainsaw is the little amount of maintenance that you have to do to keep this equipment operational year round. If you notice here, we have a reservoir and this is for the bar oil. That is the only fluid that you need to put in this chainsaw and it'll hold five fluid ounces of bar oil. The really nice thing about having a battery operated chainsaw is that you don't have to worry about changing spark plugs, carburetors, air filters, or adding any kind of fuel stabilizer into the gas can when you use it during the winter. There's no gasoline, there's no engine oil. The other thing that's nice is that you don't have to worry about winterizing this piece of equipment. So that means that I can go ahead and use this chainsaw anytime I want throughout the winter. And the only thing I have to do with it when I'm done is take the battery and put it back onto the charger. One of the crowning features of the Skill 40 volt battery powered chainsaw is the toolless tensioning mechanism. So if you look here, you'll see that there's a large black wheel. This actually holds the 14 inch bar in position. And right behind it, there is a red wheel and that is the toolless chain tensioning mechanism. That is a great feature because if you're out cutting wood and you notice that your chain gets a little bit loose, you can go ahead and tighten up the chain without having to worry about bringing any extra tools with you. This is a really serious battery powered saw. In fact, I have sawed some really serious logs using this chainsaw. Manufacturer states that it can easily get through logs up to 10 inches in diameter. But let me tell you, I have cut trees that are larger in diameter than that. So it's possible to cut a tree that has a diameter that's actually larger than the 14 inch bar on the chainsaw. And the reason I know this is because I did this a few months ago. I'll throw some pictures up there as evidence. I wish I would have caught that on video, but wasn't thinking about that at the time. And there's a few groups of people that this chainsaw is going to suit the best. 
And the first group of people is going to be average homeowner. Your average homeowner, this is a great chainsaw. This chainsaw is also ideal for anybody dealing with any kind of shoulder injuries. That's right. If you've had a rotator cuff injury or some other pathology going on with your shoulders, starting a gas powered chainsaw is extremely difficult, if not impossible. That makes this chainsaw ideal for women and it makes it ideal for older individuals that are having a hard time managing that big old gas chainsaw that they used to be able to use when they were younger. That this chainsaw weighs less than eight pounds. So it is a chainsaw that you can operate with very minimal physical effort. And it is something that you can utilize all afternoon without experiencing a substantial level of fatigue. This chainsaw is also perfect for what I like to call intermittent and you know what that is, where if you take it, maybe you cut a couple things or you cut a tree and then you have to put the chainsaw down and you have to pull that tree out of the brush to be able to get access to it to finish diminishing it. And then pick it back up again and then beep, 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 get back to work. With a battery powered chainsaw, you just put the chain brake on and let go of the trigger and it's quiet, it's not running, it's not draining any juice. Compare that with a gas chainsaw where you make your cut and then you set this down. Either you have to turn the gas powered chainsaw off to conserve gas and keep it from going <laughs> on the ground next to you the whole time that you're pulling stuff out of the brush, which I find super irritating. And if you turn the gas powered one off, then you have to fight with the darn thing to get it turned back on again. So when you're doing intermittent work where it's kind of stop, go, stop, go, you're gonna be a lot happier doing that with a battery operated chainsaw just for your own personal sanity. So talk about the chainsaw use in the winter. In terms of the cold, the battery actually holds up really, really well. I have used this in temperatures as low as three degrees. And I notice maybe a 10% overall drop, maybe 15% if it happens to be windy, if there's a pretty big wind chill that day. But I'm actually really impressed with how well this battery performs in colder temperatures. Cause I live in Northern Wisconsin and we know cold. So this thing can handle the Wisconsin cold. Probably can handle your cold too. The nice thing about this chainsaw is that it's got you know, pretty good weatherproofness. I mean, it's not waterproof. You can't use this chainsaw underwater, but you can't use most chainsaws underwater. So I'm not worried about that. But this thing, when I'm cutting, and I need to set it down. I'm, I'm always setting it down in the snow, in the wet terrain. I've never had any issues with it running after that. It's really worked really well. It's really held up and been pretty robust for, you know, the affordable little thing that it is. What I don't like about this chainsaw. The biggest downfall of this chainsaw, in my opinion, is its winter operation. You hear that beep? Let's hear it again. You know what that means? That means that a bunch of gunk has gotten frozen up in here, which is preventing the chain from moving. Now, if you can hear in the background, I have a heater running. I've started to heat up this garage. When I first came out here, this chainsaw's bar was completely stuck. Now I can move it by hand because it's starting to unfreeze, but you can see I am not letting go of the trigger. If the chainsaw gets frozen up, probably because all of this gunk back here gets frozen in this. So it's really important that you use either compressed air in a can or your air compressor and blow all this crud out when you're done. About the only maintenance that's required with the Skill 40 volt chainsaw is to make sure that it's filled up with bar oil, that the bar is adequately tightened, that the chain is adequately tightened, and to make sure that your chain is sharp enough for you to be able to cut effectively. And if you guys want to know how to sharpen the Skill 40 volt chainsaw, I've got a video right over here. I want you to click on that one and I'm going to see you on that video.